hey, they said you needed a little bit of help filling out the uh, registration forms. That is what I am here for. We will go through it all. I'll fill it out. I will just ask you the questions that we need. This is your first time here. Okay, good. I'm glad you came. So, let's start. Your last name? And your first name? Middle initial? Previous name. What is your mailing address? Do you have an apartment number? City State and Zip code. Home phone. I don't have one either. Um cell phone. Do you want to put a work phone? Totally fine, you do not have to. Okay. Preferred method of contact for reminder calls and other um, electronically generated messages that we send out from time to time. Just updates and stuff. It's very rare that we do it. Um, but we can send them through text or give you a call. Okay. And what physician have you seen before? Your date of birth? Marital status? Social security number? And your employer name? Emergency contact. Emergency contact phone number. In relationship to you. Do you have insurance? Okay, and you have reviewed a copy of our privacy notice. We will not share your information with anyone unless you tell us to. So I just need your signature. You're right there. And print your name below. Okay. So just do your name. 
did I stitch? Do you have any allergies? And are you taking any medications? Do you have a history of ADHD, alcoholism, seasonal allergies, anemia, anxiety, arrhythmia, arthritis, asthma, bipolar, bladder problems, incontinence, bleeding problems, cancer, headaches, Crohn's disease, COPD, emphysema, dementia, depression, diabetes 1 or 2, diverticulitis, blood clots, acid reflux, glaucoma, heart disease, heart attack, hiatal hernia, high blood pressure, kidney stones, kidney disease, high cholesterol, HIV, hepatitis, irritable bowel syndrome, lupus, liver disease, macular degeneration, neuropathy, osteoporosis, Parkinson's, peripheral vascular disease, peptic ulcer, psoriasis, pulmonary embolism, rheumatoid arthritis, seizures, sleep apnea, stroke, thyroid disorder, or ulcerative colitis. Alright, um, any other medical problems not listed? Have you ever had surgery? Okay, and day performed. Okay, your education level. Elementary, high school, vocational college, graduate professional. Any vision problems that affect your communication? Hearing problems? Are there any limitations to understanding or following instructions written or verbally? Okay. Do you smoke or use tobacco? recreational drugs? Are you sexually active? Are there any problem, are there any personal problems or concerns at home or for school you would like to discuss? Are there any cultural or religious concerns you have related to the care you receive? Are there any financial issues that directly impact your ability to manage your health? How often do you get the social and emotional support you need? And do you have any comments? Do you have a family history of alcoholism, anemia, asthma, arthritis on your father's side. Okay, bipolar, cancer, COPD, dementia, depression, diabetes 1 or 2, blood clots, heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, kidney disease, migraines, osteoporosis, stroke, or thyroid disorder. Okay, and on your mother's side, alcoholism, anemia, asthma, arthritis, bipolar disorder, cancer, COPD, dementia, depression, diabetes 1 or 2, blood clots, heart disease, High cholesterol, high blood pressure, kidney disease, migraines, osteoporosis, stroke, thyroid cancer. Anything that we didn't cover? Um, siblings? And are there any other medical providers you see on a regular basis? Cardiologist, mental health, kidney, dentist, anything? Okay, what's his name? Now we'll just need your signature one more time. Right at the bottom. And yeah, you can just put the date. It's 
something. Alright, now do you have any questions? Everything here is completely private. We will never share your information with anyone. Alright. So as a first time patient, we are just here to get to know you. Um, any problems that you had, and I'm going to do a general exam. Is that okay with you? Alright. So first thing I'm going to look for is actually why don't we go ahead and get your, listen to that heart. Okay, I'm gonna take a look inside of your ears. If you don't mind. Just take a look inside your mouth. Okay. Oh. okay. And say ah. Say that one more time. Okay. Stick your tongue. Can I check your temperature? Open up. Okay. Close your mouth. Okay. 
manners. Tell me when my fingers leave your peripheral vision. Alright, I'm just watching the movement. Watch my finger. This one on. Perfect. Close the other. Sanitize my hands. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to feel right. Does that hurt? And I'm over here putting a little bit of pressure. Does that hurt? Do you have a balanced diet? And what about exercise? What's that look like for you? Okay. Well, you seem to be in very good shape. Alright, so I'm glad you came in. Was a good just routine, getting the basics, getting to know you, um, checking you out. But you're not having any problems, and I didn't see anything that was alarming, so there's really no need for us to do anything else today. Of course, if you have problems in the future, come see us and we'll get you fixed to get any medications that you might need, anything like that. All right? But I am glad you came to see us. I'm glad you chose this office. And I hope you come back to see us again. But, well, I guess I hope you, hope you don't have to. <laughs> Alright.